outdoor sport is back. When lockdown first struck Britain in March last year, most local sports clubs would have been fearing for their future. But after the dreary winter months of January and February, the country is enjoying the thunderous sounds of an ace again. Any club without its members cannot survive, so those in charge are understandably pleased to be back. One of those is Adam Plumley, chairperson of Beeston Tote and Sycamore Cricket Club. The lifting of restrictions has arrived at the perfect time for Adam as preparations for the cricket season begin. Oh, it, it was kind of it was relief in the fact that we know that we're going to get a season and that we're going to kind of get out of there. And I think it was quite quite key in a way that actually you're you're allowed to go and do sport before you, for example, could go somewhere like the pub. And I think that's kind of a big key. And I think that's a big thing about cricket is that cricket is a very social sport in the in terms of the time that you're kind of there, you, you really get to like kind of know a wide kind of like group of people that you wouldn't necessarily kind of do in kind of any anywhere else. And I think it was just kind of the the con sometimes you say probably potentially freedom, but just the kind of the idea that we get to kind of go outside and kind of enjoy kind of those summer days that we're hopefully going to get. Yeah. And what work have you had to do to to reopen? Uh, have you had to do anything um, specifically or so um a lot of the new stuff we have to do is that we have to do quite a lot of COVID based risk assessments. So basically all the kind of all the steps that we're taking to basically reduce transmission. So they would, they would have like our traditional risk assessments anyway, that it's basically, we have a set of guidelines from the ECB that kind of states you could do something. So practice at the moment, we're only allowed to practice in groups of six. Uh, kind of as a maximum to kind of follow the idea of the kind of rule of six and that for example if we are um, at games um, we have to do so there's a basically we have to have breaks every six overs to kind of um, make sure everyone's kind of like washing their hands and stuff like that and the ball just to kind of reduce transmission so actually yeah so quite a lot of the work has basically been around making sure that basically we have those risk assessments done and actually that we've basically so we actually had a day where we went out and basically made sure that kind of like everything's ready for the season so that's kind of the stuff that we've done